Это город воротила, бля. Это все, бля. Это все бока. Я все. Пошли, бля. Вот так вот. Вот. Вот в якобы лысина. Вот они тут. Двухсотые лежат. Пакет упакованный. Вот тоже лисья нора. Пробито вот. Вот здесь было пробито. Мы его взяли под сынок, песком напихали. Наскусь бьет заряды. Вот здесь вот пролетела да какая-то у меня. Вот таким снарядом, что вот отсюда, бля, да. она летит Держи. вот сюда, вот, убери мешок. Вот, вот, насквозь бьет. И все, бля. Сейчас, бля, у нас, вот он, люк. Лети, братан. Летит опять сюда. Люк открылся. Он лопат... люк от... лопаткой подперли. Лопатка подперли, это все, бля. Люк сейчас, бля. А он, он, вот, все. Смысл здесь находиться я не вижу никакого абсолютно. Сверху, блядь, буду скидывать гранаты. Больше да, мы не сделаем. Да, вот это правильно. Это мы. Есть, Есть контакт. Опять в люк. Да, опять в люк. Долбят люк, суки. А лопатка же будет за Давай, опять же уже. NATO countries prepare population for war with Russia. All civilians may join military reserve units. Lithuania is establishing permanent military training centers that will operate nationwide to prepare personnel to serve in the rear during war, Defense Minister Lorinas Kasiunas told. A total of 27 command headquarters that are due to be fully operational next year will be set up in the major cities of the NATO member countries in an effort to prepare the public to send a deterrent signal to the enemy, the official said. The Baltic State's Defense Ministry expects such command posts to become a link between the Lithuanian armed forces and the citizens who can defend the country with arms in the event of war. We are talking about the fact that the public will already know where to go if they want to contribute to the defense of their homes and country, Kasiunas explained. He further clarified the purpose of these territorial defense units by saying that they will fight against diverse groups, protect objects and carry out other tasks. The bill submitted to the Lithuanian Parliament, the CIMAS, envisages the command centers having units under their command made up of existing reserve troops, riflemen, as well as all owners of firearms, including hunters. According to Kasiunas, some 10,600 members in civilian reserves, around 2,000 riflemen and 800 members of the National Defense Volunteer Forces are expected to join. The official encouraged the wider public to enlist, saying that all civilians may join and that everyone will find their place in the units. Earlier this week, Germany sent its first military unit to Lithuania as part of a plan to have a full armor brigade permanently stationed in the Baltic state. It is believed that all this is related to Lithuania's preparation for a possible war with Russia. There are warnings that Russia may attack the Baltic countries after Ukraine. European countries reject calls from Ukraine to strengthen air defense. Financial Times European capitals have rejected demands from Kyiv to send its air defense systems to Ukraine after a week of relentless missile and drone bombing by Russia that destroyed critical energy plants in the war-torn country. As the Financial Times notes, Ukraine has long warned that it needs urgent supplies of air defense systems to protect itself from the overwhelming number of Russian missiles aimed at the country's energy and heating infrastructure. President Volodymyr Zelensky stepped up calls for the transfer of American-made Patriot batteries, criticizing Kyiv's Western partners for turning a blind eye as the capital region witnessed the destruction of its largest power plant. Kyiv is lobbying to send Patriot systems to Ukraine from Poland, Romania and Spain, two sources familiar with the negotiations told the Financial Times. 
They only need seven, but it's difficult, one person said. European capitals have said they have no plans to send more systems to Ukraine, arguing they need to preserve defense capabilities. Germany gave Ukraine two Patriot systems, but made clear that it would not provide more. We will not be able to offer any more systems at this time. The Defense Department said this position outraged some representatives of the opposition Christian Democratic Union. Norbert Rutgen, a Christian Democratic Union lawmaker and member of the Bundestag's Foreign Affairs Committee, said Berlin could provide Ukraine with two more Patriot systems, especially since those lent to Poland and Slovakia have now been returned. Ukraine's demands have focused attention on strategic minimum levels of defense capability and whether European NATO states will decide to go below their self-imposed minimum level needed to defend their states in order to send equipment to Ukraine. I would say that any decision to reduce strategic stockpiles is largely in the hands of our defense forces and our armed forces and should always remain confidential. Finnish President Alexander Stubb said this week when asked whether he believed that other countries could send more weapons to Ukraine. The Polish military insists it cannot supply Patriot to Ukraine, while it itself awaits supplies from the United States after Washington approved a $15 billion Polish order for Patriot and related equipment last June.